stream down a mountainside You give to me everything I need I don't mind the pain Or when I bleed or when the day is done You're on my side I welcome this day I think it's a fantastic day for the college. I think it's making a very powerful statement at a time of rash confusion and anxiety, particularly among our younger people who want to get involved, and yet we say they don't care, which is so unfair. Today we can sit down together and listen. We make a statement ourselves of respectfully making non judgment listening. We're listening to what people are saying, and it's not making other people think as I think. So together we can make a difference if we can listen to each other and share what it is we hold in common. I believe young people have, have enough to give us. The intergenerational programs that we run prove this. I think it's wonderful. Our older people like myself working with younger people so we can pass on the culinary skills, all the different kind of skills. They can pass on the technology skills because they're experts. And it's, it's the, that combination where we, we can be very close to each other, supporting each other, all in the interest of community. What the day was about was bringing people in who were interested and just kind of discussing what's happening and what we're worried about, what our fears and anxieties are about. And instead of kind of like ignoring it and repressing it and pushing down, you bring it out into the open. So it's this creating this space for people to say, I'm actually quite worried about this. And not just climate change, but kind of like the price of living, um, public transport, things that like matter to you that you haven't necessarily addressed or told anyone about. Today was a, like a day about creating this place where you can sit down and talk to someone you may have never met before in this really nice space. The morning was about sharing the ideas, your worries, your hopes, your fears, and then a lot of the students brought in kind of like food to be sharing and stuff like that, so that's the food for thought aspect. And then in the afternoon you had these workshops where you addressed the issues in the morning of, I'm worried about this, and then the afternoon was very much kind of a proactive thing of, this is what we can do about it, um, if you're worried about climate change, let's plant some trees to combat carbon. If you're worried about things, let's contact our local ministers and let's contact county councillors. And then there was like burning your worries and workshops like that. So it's really a space that you address something, you say sharing your problem is a kind of like a problem halved and then doing something about it then at the end of the day. I love this part of any event. Uh, I have every AFRI event possible, we always plant a tree. It's a symbol of our desire to live in harmony with the planet and with each other. I think a tree is a beautiful symbol, particularly an oak, in terms of its longevity. It'll be, it'll be here long after we are gone. And I suppose it, it is a symbol of our desire to protect this precious planet on which we stand. That lovely chant that we had this morning about feeling mother beneath our feet. Like it's, it's lovely just to stand on the earth and be aware what we are standing on, the sacredness of the ground that we're standing on. Like too often we take it for granted. Take that hand and say we don't need to walk on water, we just need to walk on the earth and feel the earth and give it the, the, the respect that it, it deserves, this extraordinary planet. So hopefully next year we come back and we plant another and eventually we'll create a forest and we'll enjoy the shelter of the forest. We had at least 15 letters drawn up from the letter lobby workshop, all based upon issues that people had that were very personal to them that affect them either locally or nationally. And we have letters going out now to ministers, local councillors, local organisations to hopefully enact that change. And even one group are taking the letter themselves and bringing it back to the whole class to get everyone to behind uh, that cause. So. We all, we're already seeing some change come from the event, which is already amazing to see. And I, I, one thing I can't get over is the level of engagement we had from such a diverse range of people here today, all ages, all walks of life, be it students, non-students, community members, people coming from abroad across the country to be here for the event today. So that was really inspiring as well. There was some very heavy topics talked about today, 
but it was so nice to have that space, to have this talk, which allowed an awareness of other people also experiencing the same emotions around these issues. So in general, I think it brought people together, which was the overarching aim of the event. So that worked really well. I like this term, celebrating community, where people come together who don't know each other and they just have a really good time together and come close as well. So I think I would like the community aspect to grow as well here in the community, here in the area, to have more things like this where community comes together because this is, I think, where strength comes from, where change comes from. So I think that's important that this happens. One of the greatest learnings in my life was listening to people and what they expressed was what they expressed and it was coming from within. And that's what I consider what I'm doing to this day, more now than ever, because I understand a bit more and kind of, as I say, getting older and maybe understanding more how, how important the inside it is. The inside music, how important that is and also how important it is for me to connect with that. Me and my wife, we came here about 40 years ago because we thought that the way we live in this world is un unsustainable. And we lived here pretty much with our own ideas. And there were a couple of people who had similar ideas, but suddenly it comes into mainstream. And that's really something where I feel very hopeful for. What I'm going away with is how important the community is, that we step out of this individuality and everyone for themselves. A lot of concern about how things are at the minute, um, but a huge amount of energy and passion and commitment to shaping a world that's better for everybody, which I think is really important. So the students are such an inspiration in the event, it was really led by them. They led us through a journey and one of the students described it as this generation of knowledge outside of a classroom and this idea that we could learn so much without being in a lecture. So I think that in itself is a success. I think the collaboration between the organisations, AFRI and FASTA and the college and FROIGA and um, the MSLETP, everybody that came in here was really important that we're all committed to thinking about how we do things and standing in solidarity together, I guess, in, in figuring out a way that we can be inclusive and progressive, how we make a difference in the world to make it better. You're on my side since time began. You loved me grow from child to man, even through the days I didn't want to know. Watch those fishermen on the key laugh and tell me they were on my side.